Most swallows are fairly easy to identify, but I've seen even experienced birders misidentify brown swallows. Welcome, my name is Greg and my goal is to help you improve your bird identification skills. Today we're going to be comparing bank swallow with a similar looking bird, northern rough-winged swallow. Grab your favorite field guide and let's get started. We start, as always, with size and shape. Both species show the typical swallow shape, long body, small head on short neck, short tail, and triangular wings in flight. My first field guide showed eight species of swallows in flight on one page. The painting showed them all the same shape, except for the barn swallow's forked tail. But that's not the way they look in life. There are structural differences. Notice the compact shape of this bank swallow. This bird is fluffed up. They usually look thin and tapered to the rear. Compare this northern rough-winged swallow. It doesn't look dumpy like the bank swallow. Instead, it has a longer body and bigger chest. Another shape difference is that the wings of bank swallows are shorter than those of rough-winged swallows. Note that the wings barely reach the tail tip. On the other hand, look how long the wings are on these northern rough-winged swallows. Body and wing length differences cause these birds to fly differently and look different in flight. But before we discuss birds in flight, let's talk about plumage, color, and pattern. Birds perched on a wire and facing you are easy to identify. These two bank swallows show the gleaming white throat and dark, well-defined breast band that is their field mark. Notice on the right-hand bird that there is a spur of white from the throat separating the ear coverts from the back. The white throat and partial white neck color is visible in flight. It is the most obvious mark in flying birds viewed from the side. Look how the white collar shows up on this bank swallow, photobombing this blue-winged teal. The face of northern rough-winged swallows is entirely dusky, and that continues to the throat and upper breast. There is no contrasting pattern anywhere on the head. Look how smoothly and evenly the brown head merges into the dusky throat and breast on this flying northern rough-winged swallow. There's one more color pattern to note on these swallows. See how dark the wings are compared to the back and tail? This contrasting pattern is obvious on bank swallows flying away from you. The flight feathers are almost black and the rest of the upper parts are paler gray-brown. Let's switch back to these northern rough-winged swallows on the wire. Notice how the upper bird has brown back and flight feathers. In flight, the entire upper parts are evenly pale warm brown. Head, back, tail, and wings. Now we're going to talk about behavior, specifically flight style, and vocalizations. Bank swallows' shorter and very pointed wings are apparent in flight. The wings are quite triangular and stiff. They flap rapidly in bursts, then glide with wings held out from the body, as in this photo. In a mixed flock of swallows, bank swallows always seem to be paired up and engaged in high-speed chasing and excited calling as they fly overhead. The call of bank swallows is a loud paired buzzing, very much like the sound of electricity in high-voltage power lines. On the other hand, northern rough-winged swallows have more graceful flight. The wings are broader and more rounded than most other swallows, but that's not the impression they give in flight. Instead, it appears that the wings are longer and flex more in the middle. Wing beats are slower and more continuous. The flight is slow. Flapping includes brief glides with wings swept back along the body, as in this photo. In a mixed flock of swallows, single northern rough-winged swallows usually fly low to the water and rather slowly. The call of northern rough-winged swallows is a single low rasp, sounding like flatulence. Bank swallows and northern rough-winged swallows are found in the same habitats, over wet fields, marshes, streams, and ponds in summer. Bank swallows winter in South America. They nest from Alaska and across Canada into the United States. They do not nest in the southern states and are rather rare and local in the Pacific states. They dig deep nest burrows into cut banks and gravel pits, usually over water. They are colonial nesters. Bank swallow colonies are large and densely packed with perhaps 15 to 50 pairs. 
Northern rough-winged swallows winter in Mexico and rarely in Florida and the border states. They nest throughout the United States and into southern Canada. These swallows also nest in overpass drain pipes, not always over water, but are otherwise similar in nesting requirements as bank swallows. Northern rough-winged swallows may or may not nest in colonies. Where several pairs are near each other, the colony is generally smaller, composed of four to eight pairs. The nest burrows aren't as close together as bank swallows. I'll give you a final warning, perhaps as a topic for a future video. First year female tree swallows are brown too and can show a faint breast band. These are sometimes erroneously identified as bank swallows. Is there a species identification or confusing pair of birds that you'd like to see covered next? Let me know in the comments. I'll create a video to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching.